Good afternoon from the Office of Human Rights Defender and Access to Justice Advocacy Center. With the update of the case of uh, physical assault reported by uh, Princess Amama against the uh, Lapo Microfinance Bank. Please, we are here in our office this afternoon. Join us as we interview her and also ask from our guarantor um, how, what she knows about the case entirely and how she gets to know about the lady. Thank you. Um, Madam Princess, good afternoon. I'm all pleased to meet you. Like, uh, just try to like, uh, rephrase your statement. So See, try it. Please speak louder. Good afternoon. My name is Chris. Speak louder, please. Good afternoon. My name is Chris. You can do better, please. I'm not the one to make this. Just have to speak louder. Eh? You just have to speak louder, please. Oh, yeah. So along the line, I had an issue with my job. Something came up, so they said that I could be able to raise the money anymore. So I went to the office to go and meet the manager. Please speak louder. To go and meet the manager. Ah, yeah, okay, maybe I can explain to him or so can okay, see what is going on. Can okay, see what happened. So at the end of the day, they locked me up there. Without no food, no water, I got there around 9.30 and they released me around 12, uh, 11 o'clock, which is 11.30 p.m., which is in the night, later on. So before p.m. allowed me to go, they need to gang up, they plan, I don't know anything. Um, along the way, they wanted to keep, show me inside the toilets. So, want to collect my phone, I jumped with my phone, he couldn't be able to collect my phone, then that is when he injured me. So at the end of the day, I did not give them my phone. I need to throw my phone, I put on trouser, jeans, so I need to throw my phone under my trouser. So at the end of the day, there was no jogging. When time I've already got, they see that they cannot collect the phone from me. BM needs to gang up with the three of them that remain in the office. For that next hour. So the my account officer and BM they hold my BM hold my neck my hand at my back and my the other lady hold my leg and my account officer took his hand inside my private part and bring out the phone. Show it for the other lady. On their way showing the phone for the other lady, I think that is when the phone gets broken. So at the end of the day, PM was saying that, that uh, they did not do that, they did not do this. Okay, how come my phone gets to your hand? I didn't, I didn't even know that my chain is no more in my neck. But when my, I know that, yes, my watch, I know when the watch cut. I was trying to pick it, PM still used leg and kick the stuff and push me out. On my way going, that is when I now go to police station at Oba bus stop, which is that to 12 or this thing. So when I get there, I explain to them, they was like, ah, they don't have right to do that. So they, they, they cannot, they are not the one taking the case of that side. That is either a Lausa or Ikeja. So by that time it's late. I stand outside for me to see any bike or any keke that is going to Ikeja. And please see any keke then. So that is when I now went back home. The second day in the morning, I go back to Ikeja. Police station, which is area F. So for me getting there, I stay for them. I go with the clothes that they injure me because I I end up I put on white. I went once I see the blood. So my boy just say ah. So I just use the blood and clean my clothes. So I go there with my clothes. So I stay for them. So they take me to I don't know maybe it's a uh, uh, they take me to their boss. 
for them to okay for them to now sign okay they okay, should go and invite them come let them hear from them so i just know that when i get to the, their boss office I get, after i narrate the story it's not say from which branch i say from okwebi so he just say i'm told that collect their money i should go and look for how i'll pay their money the boss was the guys was not there uh, sir he didn't deny that he did not collect money for them this is what they did today so ah uh, just walk out. Those boys just shake and say, There's nothing they can do again. That is when I now find myself in this human rights. I need to come and report for them what happened to me there. I owe them money. I never deny that I do not owe them money. Something caught came up, so I'll have to be able to pay the money again. So I went to them, okay, oh, for that month, if they can use my savings that is there to cover that month. For me to now talk about the other one, how they will help me and reduce the money because I will not be able to be paid that amount anymore. They don't even want me to even say the story. They say I should call my family, I should call people, I should call my friends, I should come and be donating money for me. I say if I have people that will donate money for me, I will not be here. So at the end of the day, that is what happened to me there. That is when I now came to come and report. So at the end of the day now, we are here for me to look for the settlement and how I'm, I do not say that I'm not going to pay their money. I borrow the money and I'll pay it. I'm going to pay their money, but I am going to pay the money that will not, that will be incontent, that will not incontent me. But for now, they came to my shop, they see how my shop look like. These people now that started giving me little, little market. And like I said, those people market, I'll pack everything, I'll go and give somebody. How will I collect another one? So it's this little, little one I'm seeing inside. I'll be saving to be paying this money. Um. And my things they're being collected from me. My phone, my watch, my chain. 18 karan. The chain has been in my neck for years now. I think it's should move it. Many people can witness that chain on my neck. No. So at the end of the day, Nabiem was saying that they, they, keep, they always come to my shop every week. So they have come with different branches to come and apologize, to come and say they know that what BM did to me is very bad. They did not support what BM did to me and they did not say that I should not collect what, whatever they are not from me. But I should just make sure that they don't want anything to happen to black own name. I should just make sure that I come down and leave the case from here for us to just settle the case amicably within ourselves that the case they don't want the way the case is here that they don't want anything that will cause problem for Lapo that they fine fine I can handle the case with BM that BM fine BM is going to pay me for whatever they lost and the other that day again before I left my shop because they came to my shop after I get to their office I did a lot of snacks in my shop because everything gets wasted that day because of their trouble they come and make in my shop my landlord give me quick notice. So from problem to another, I don't just know what to do. That is why I come here. For you people to help me. How PM will return my things, how I'll be paying their money gradually by gradually. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Can you call please Mr. Sir? Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. My name is Oh, please be more audible. I can't hear you. Say, my name is Mr. Okay. Please. Um, uh, I'm the guarantor of all cases. Okay. Mama. Well, I'm no other mother than you. And um, I've been a guarantor not only to this, to this bank, to all our banks that she has been, that she takes me. Um, no, and nobody, I've never heard of any of compromised or unable to pay except these two. She used she used to she used to shops in where uh, where she sells presently where she sells before and where she's selling presently in the same street. So when she borrowed that money when the BM she called me the BM started calling me that uh, my 
not even have to like three days or two weeks. People start calling me. Say my people, my client is unable, my, my person I guarantor for is unable to use. They can't hear you, please speak loud. They said the person I guarantor for he cannot pay his cannot pay his, his um, loan. I know they make the fund for him for the week and for the month. And now I'm asking him, how, how, how long has he been? They now said, uh, for, he now said, like two or three days. I said, just a new, new lady, the month is still fresh, the week is still fresh. Yeah, start calling me with this. And I said, okay, I go back to the shop. He now said, he went to the shop. That he didn't see, he didn't see. I said, the woman is there. She's always there. Yes, she's always there. Except you, you have to wait to, to see her. He said, and I asked her, and I asked him, I asked him, I said, is the shop always low? He said, no, he said, it's not low. So hey, that means he's there. Try and, and see him. And see her. The next day he called me. He said, he's there. And he have met with her. That he have seen her. I said, okay. He have seen me. That is fine. So go ahead and talk, whatever you need to talk with her. He now said, I should come, I should come. I said, where I am? I mean, I am, number one, I'm an engineer. Sometimes I might be in sight. Sometimes I might travel, I might not be around. Talk to her, what do I need? He said, no, I need to be there. I need to be there. Start saying different kind of things to me. Start insulting me on the phone. Start insulting me. Then, when I now come back, that day, the following week, when I now come back, I now come and meet her. Then what is the matter? I said, with the money, that's me. Because... And I said, when and when and when again? And I said, it's not just fresh now. Maybe just this week, just, just this month. I said, is it last month? He said, no. Is it last year? He said, no. He said, just this month that we are in, that we have started arousing her like this. And I said, okay, if that be the case, Bath, go to the office tomorrow morning. Go and see them. Go and discuss with them. Beg them. Let them know your plight. Show them. What is on ground? Let them know what is on ground to see how you how they can help you out. How they can help you out. So I was when she now went. Ah, I was I I tried when I when she went. I called I was calling her phone all through the day. The phone was twisted off. I was calling to know what is to what is I was worried in my office. So what is what is the why is it that I've not been able to reach to reach her. So I was worried. But on before that time, the BM has been going around. Go, go, he went to my office. She went to my house. He said, my house is no longer where it was. My office is no longer where it was. I said, what can he be so? Number two, my house was my house is where I was, where it was. But I have left, I have parked out of the place. So I'm not denying that I didn't guarantee I guarantee I didn't guarantee her. And I'm not running away. If you want to see me, I am always available. You will see me. But my business, my schedule is always tight. So that was when he now went to the office. The next day, announced that they now, she now told me that they arrested her, they beat her, they took away her phone. They seized, they, they, they put her in a, in a private part to remove her phone. Ah. So I was, I was not happy. I was not happy. I was not happy. I was not really, really happy. That was how I, I told her she has to do something. Let us see if what, what we can do. Is it that we come to this place or we look for, we, write, we call in our lawyer to write a petition against them. So let's take it up. So that is why we are here. Okay. But are you also aware that uh, somebody has a guarantor, if the person defaulted, that means you take it upon yourself to pay on behalf of the person. Thank you. It is if the person is not available. It is if the person runs away. I told him and I told him. I said, he has not gotten to that. I said, I know my rights. I know what, I know what, if you, I said, if he runs away. And one of the reasons I was, I was looking for, for him, because there's no amount of pressure on this young girl. Because if the pressure is too much, the girl, this girl can come in, he can lead to two sides. It can lead to, it can lead to, the girl can run away and leave her right. And I want to let it put it to them that if anything happened to this girl and run and either she run away or anything happened to her, I won't be I won't be liable.
because this is not how to handle a, a matter like this. A matter like this should not be used with violence, should not be used with force, should not be used with this because it's a matter of pressure and it cannot be controlled. Thank you. Um, BM, what can you say to us? The um, the guarantor said they he said they called him. You called him uh, like on uh, three days to. I'm not, I didn't put the camera in you. Why we are using the camera? What is going on? I don't know. We doing this again. Please, we have to be more audible. Okay, I don't know we'll be doing this again anyway, so good afternoon to everybody. Um, I would like to quickly make it um, very fast because of the time. I have said a lot on this. From what the director said, I have never spoken with the director. So I don't know which of the DM he was talking about. Except if you can prove me another one. I they can, they can please be more hard to say. Okay. I've never spoken with him before. Um, it is only our account officer that will get the call from Not until when the loan is becoming an issue of default, total default, the money is not coming in. That is when the recovery team and I go with the account officer to the office of the guarantor, which the account officer make us understand that he has been to the office and he was told that the person is no longer, is not there, is not even one of them. That if he should come back there again, he will be arrested. And initially, the very day the account officer went there together with me and the, the recovery officer, I didn't even step into the office. I was downstairs. The office is, I think, the second floor. So I was hearing one from one of the inside the office, warning the account officer not to come again. When I had the noise, that was when I went upstairs to request what to say. So I tried to calm the people. That okay, let everybody calm down. Let me hear from what this man is saying. Which the man then, I've forgotten the name, said he has already explained to the account officer that the person is looking for is not here. In fact, he doesn't work with them. They only know him that most sometimes he comes maybe once in two months, he comes around the two years together and he goes. That they have told him not to come because the boss who owns that office may see him one day and it will implicate them. So when I had that, I told my account officer, these people are really saying the truth. Did you verify this man here before giving out the loan? He said, no, due to his own negligence. So I said, definitely, what these people are saying is correct. And I apologize to them that, please, he will not come here again. But in case you help us with saying Mr. Daniel, if I'm not to Mr. Daniel, that they should please tell him to place a call to the account officer so that they can say it. I think that's all I need. So saying I have called before or go to his house, I don't even know the house. Let me come in there. Let me clear that piece. When the pressure, when the, your your people, maybe I don't know what for you. Maybe your people, when your people was we were trying to put someone as we got the that is in front of me on phone. That was when I got to the office and I explained everything to them. And now I told them that nobody, if anybody comes here, tell them they should walk them out of the office. I gave them that instruction based on what your people were doing to me, the way they were reacting. How can they be telling they are looking for me? How can they be insulting me on the phone? They will call me and insulting me. And how can they begin? They call, they call me, they be insulting me. I must come, 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 your people are running away, your friends are needing to pay. You have to do this, you have to pay all the money, you have to do this. So that was when I got to the now. office, I told them, that person you are talking to is Mr. Lee, he just joined us. So, you might be, yes, you don't know. I told office. them, I told them in the office, I said, I explained to them, it's like a guarantor for some people, for a lady. And this lady has been a good person. She has never defaulted. On all, all her banks, I mean, till now, you have another one that she is doing. That she's doing. Eh? I'm the one, I'm still being a guarantor for more than eight years or ten years. Something of this has never, never happened. So if I, I know we are from the same church, I, am, I, don't, I don't know on the streets. So we attend, we attend the same church. So before we, she now move out of the first way. And I, for me as a pastor, come and guarantor someone, 
you know that person must be a responsible person. I'm not going to for armed robber for anybody. But this lady has been a good person. And that is why she has been hard working. And that's why I see and I guarantee her. So I went back to the office because I have no energy in my cupboard. So I guarantee a lady. This I, I explained to the BM. Said, but the, the people are harassing me. The way they are talking to me on the phone, the way they are calling me, the way they are doing. Say, please, once they come, don't give them attention. Fight them up. If your people went to go and tell them that she's owing one million, that, that over, over, one, over last year she has not been paying. That's what gets me angry. That she's owing one million naira. And even the money she cannot finish paying it. Say, ah. I said, hey. Okay. I now ask her, I now get there, I now ask her, how much is the money that you are owing? She said, their money is 400,000. She has, he has saving with you people of like 100 to 150,000 naira. If you have only, if you have savings for like 100, for like 100 or 150, and it's owing you 150, he has paid. Not that, not that he collected 800 for you people. Your interest like 200 or 300, you're making the 1 million plus, and she has paid. To, to 400. Does it deserve that you should, you should kill her? Or you should be amounting pressure on her? No. That's why I go and I get to the office and I explain to them. A lot of your people went there and they have to say she's owing one million naira. She's doing this. She's doing that. I, I just come and pay it. That's why I say, ah, one million naira. But this lady said it's not one million naira. She was paying and she was out paying till, till that February. What February? December. Till December. Oh, thank you. Um, well, for the calls that we were talking about, you know, people going there, but I can categorically state that, just like I said, the only person who happens to be the first point of contact is the account officer, who has always been going there. So I don't know the people that have been going there, they know the or the allegation of them um, saying, Told them they are weighing, she's weighing one million. I'm not aware of it. Because first, sorry, the people we met, the people we met there, when they were talking, the, one of the men said, What got in mind was that the very first day the account officer came there, that he was trying to inquire what happened. Why are you looking for this man? But the account officer said, Don't worry. So why will he come again? So I try to stop to correct the issue there that the reason why we don't disclose what we have come to do is because our customers the name is confidential. I can come into this office and ask for somebody. You ask me what happened between you and the person, I will just I just want to see the person. Because it is it is somehow when I start telling the people, oh this person is doing and is doing this. So the man said, Oh, he is already aware that um Mr. Daniel stood at the rank of somebody and said, oh, definitely you must have exposed me. Our things are always confidential, we don't release information to people. So they will not say we are embarrassing them. That is the reason why the account of the that they should please not be angry with that. But in saying, please don't call me again, it's, it's like I'm into that, don't come to the office. I will tell you the account of the should not come in here. But please, should please help us tell Mr. Daniel to call. So the allegation of Nobody, from what I know, nobody ever mentioned a particular amount to anybody there. From what I know, the only thing which I said was, please tell this person to call the account officer whenever they are able to see it. But I don't think that is our thing. Because as, as a guarantor, the documents are there. What the guarantor of um, our organization is, is that when a Client, you know, when a client even pay, which is a monthly installment, the account officer will call the guarantor to notify the guarantor that this person has not paid me. Please help talk to her. If after some days the payment does not come in, then the guarantor is to come in and pay the money in full. Not having any cause of either the person is there or is not there because they are always being told that. We are issuing out money. We are not giving you money. So either the person is there or not, you are standing as a guarantor because you know, yes, you are capable of paying that money. You both know yourself. You don't, like you said, they are church members. They have confidence in the woman. That is the reason why he stood for guarantor. He stood as guarantor for the woman. So definitely, she should be able to make the payment. Not oh, go and meet her. She is there and her business is there. Like she said now, she said her business is not even running. 
that the markets, the goods in the in the shops are not for us. So you telling an account officer now, I don't know, I don't I wasn't there when this all this uh, conversation was on. Telling an account officer that go to the shop, the, the business is there. And the client is saying, the goods I have are not for me. Then the guarantee is to come in for that person. Because the document signed is that if this person did not pay, I am paying. You are not being forced. We don't even know you. We don't know the both of them before. They know each other. That is the reason why you come approach the organization for money. And you are expecting an, an account of this, a young guy that has family to continue paying money he never collected for three good months. And from the information I gather, they said after the divorcement of the group, um, one of our officials visited the place for a follow up. After giving a loan, we always go back there to follow up on um, what the person do with our money. Maybe the person eventually puts the money into business. The statement made by Madam Princess is that um, I am going to suffer the account officer that he did something, maybe he delayed her or something like that. If she can't deny that. So it automatically means that she is trying to ask to, according to what she said from the onset, that I will suffer that boy. He delayed me or something. Please but the up. statement of I suffer, I will suffer him, was being said. Was it after the money was discussed? Maybe or? after the money was discussed, not even before the payment. It should be a week or two. That is when we go for our loan utilization. A week or two, we always go there. We send an, an, an officer to go and check if the money disbursed is being used for the purpose that was being disbursed for. So the person said, she said, I will suffer that guy because something, something happened. So the lady was not trying to apologize. Like what she said, that okay, either our person is wrong or right, we will apologize to you. No fair. We are not here to fight. All we want is we give you money, let us get our money back. If I am fighting you, how will I get my money? So when already you have been giving money and you are making this kind of statement, will the person now start fighting you? Why will you say uh, uh, you suffer my person? Why will you say you suffer my staff? It's for the person to beg you. So will you now say, okay, they are admitting to it that for her to say, sorry, no verse now, means that guy, your account officer, really did the bad thing to you. You were being referred by somebody. The person that referred you has been with us and is even enjoying the privilege so now. I want to clear something. Say sorry, supposition. Um, you said it was a week after the the, the, the disbursement that yes. they went there to go and check to go and yes, check. This probably like helped. Yeah. She used the money for the purpose for of the collecting purpose, the money. Yeah. Then that was when the person I had that she said she's going to suffer. Suffer. The the accounts officer. Yeah. Well, from her own statements, according to how she explained, she was saying that uh, it was after when the case has been here. That a lot of your staff were coming to our place to come and be apologizing. No, 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 not this. It's not this picture. Can I come in? You can come in. What he's trying to say now is that it's after a month, the first month, first payment that I'm supposed to pay, which is I'm supposed to pay on 10, which is I collect money on 10 of this month, which I'll pay on 10 of every month, which is the following month, I'm supposed to pay on 10, which is on 10, around 2.30. I paid my money. At the end of the day, my account officer did not call me. Me, I just pay my money. So that I believe that the, I don't know how they do in their office because I believe that any of my bank, once I pay, they will see my name because my name is there. Once I pay, you see my name. You should know that, okay, this money comes from this also person. So I don't need to be calling again. I don't call any bank if I pay. So I pay on 10. It's my sister that I even do it for me. So after three days, maybe four days, that is a I somebody called me any moment around six thirty in, in the morning. One of my cousins called me from village. That some people have been calling that I collect my uh, laptop. My cousin that I collected money. I did not be able to pay. This is my first week. I say what? It's now I dropped the phone again. My uncle called me. That where did I go and collect money? Say they say laptop something something. Say call them. Say this. Is, that one is in uh, this thing. And I explained to my uncle, say, see, see, see what happened. I've already paid the money. See what is going on. That one was not. That if I pay the money, I'll let the calling. 
That is how I now took my phone because I did not have the account officer number then. That is how I now took my phone. I called the lady that directed me that that one is working there too. I called her and said, what is going on? See what is happening this morning. They should take their, this thing. I pay so 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 that at least they should be there. Why would they be calling everybody and they not even confront me? They did not even call me to confirm. I'm the one that call them and before you can call anybody, you will confirm from me and know if I was there or not. Not for you to be calling people. That is how we drag the thing. I was so annoyed because there come many people. Many people was asking me, where did you go and call them on this? I just I said, ah, I what is going on? So they said, indeed, if I don't come and meet me that time, tell me I forget the day I suppose so. They, this, and I say, I see me see what I love. That's why everybody have been calling me that. I have paid the money. I show by the receipt again. After, so I called the lady. The lady needs, they need to check. At the end of the day, they was not begging me that they are sorry that they didn't know that I'm the one that sent the money that I could have called to cover. I say, so even though if I did not call, when you did not see my money, first week, first month, I mean, you should confirm for me first. I'm done that collect the money before you started calling anybody. That is where me and the boy had issue. So after the following month, the second month, I pay my money. Yeah. I called the lady. I say I've paid. Oh, have you people see the money? He said, check. It's not in the office. I said, okay. So that is when the night came. To me. The lady came to my shop to come out. I was so angry that you call money people on top of it. If I'm going, I should be the one. That I should be. I should be. It's okay. So, at the end of the day, if there is anything going on, you should comfort me for before anything. You will know from me if I have do or not before I started calling anybody. Sorry. So the guy near later called me that day. Uh, uh, sorry, sorry. How did they have your sisters and your uncle's number? That is the problem. That is what I don't know. It's like they went to the uh, under my uh, this because they collect my BVN and all those things. I don't know how they get to know all those people. That is what I was asking the lady that how did they get to know all those number they call? That lady that followed them here that day. That is the lady that came to my shop. And the other lady that directs me to that place. Okay. So the guy just not just come. I can't just call them money. I will not say that they as you could give me money. Now that is how BMC say that that day. I went there to come and plead with you. Okay, see what is going on with you. He said that day that day. Me, I just come to the office as I just enter and say, hey, this is me. I'm John I call them money. Anything you people want to do for me, you come and do it. And at the end of the day, we are saying up and down and that that is how me I used to do. That is when I now say that I should please ask BM for me. Any of my bank, BM can call. That can confirm that I forever collect money which I did not pay. At least if I collect money in their system, once you collect here, you collect here. Before they can dispute any money for you, they will see many places that you have collect money. And they will see how you have fortune before they can deposit, they can divorce money for you. We are BMC that that is how I used to collect money and I did not pay. That's what I want people to ask. Help me and ask BM. Because the same way I come to your place, the same way I see with other people and they understand me. Even my landlord, now they went to tell my landlord that I collect 2.7 million, which I have not been able to pay. Who went to tell them? Because of my account officer coming to our streets. Stand on the middle of the road shouting, Me, I used to pay one, uh, one house, can you call me? I collect so, so, so a month. At the end of the day, you know, people they had to eat to go and report it to my landlord because of that. They give me good notice. They cause many problems for my neck that I'm solving now. I do not even know where to enter. Um. You have the one that brings the issue. Yes, first. Before we proceed. All this, they did this, they did this allegation without pay. No, I've never seen a place where somebody will say they go to my street and start shouting. Who goes? Can I say if 
I can call him. Don't interrupt, please. Let him talk. It's possible. If there is another, uh, what was it called? Uh, financial organization. Same, but uh, yeah. in land. You don't need to interrupt. For calling a uh, family. How do we get family? Who are the family? You have to get around us. Maybe when you said uh, the people did not call you, then they call your guarantor, which he said, he is a guarantor. If a call is being placed to time, like I explained earlier, for reminder of payment, and the person is not paying, the only place for to demand of that place, this person has not paid. Can you help us call? Hold oh, on. No, man, it's still the, the BF. The BM of the microfinance bank are just as they did the first time, they said they will not show on, on the head. So it's the one giving the justice. Yes, the same thing I was telling him. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. The madam cannot hear you. Not to speak louder. Okay. She can't hear you. Just has to. Yeah. Hey. She. She's the one to begin to write. Didn't get any at all. At all. I was not very quickly. Maybe something we do on WhatsApp like the last time. No, okay. She can't hear um. We don't have any access to family number. If she said we got BVN, BVN is only used in taking credit worthiness. Of a plan and it does not carry any family number, not even the guarantor's phone number. So I don't know where the allegation is coming from. Calling people's family is not something that we do. We either call the guarantor or call the client, and we only call the guarantor when the client is not cooperating to notify the guarantor of the issue of that. Because many guarantors will tell us, Why are you just telling me now? I don't know that the person I guarantee did not pay, and you are telling me now, why didn't you tell me on time? That is what we do. She can also clarify that from the person that introduced that to her. If the person did not pay, have they ever called that person's uh, family member before? She is not the first person the person is bringing because of her own reputation. If that person has been a bad person to us, we will not accept any other person she is bringing. And if we have been a bad organization, the person did not bring someone else. So with the allegation now that this is how we do, that we call people, we harass, we do this. The person that knows that they harass will not, will never tell you to stop banking with another microphone that you are banking with for you to come to where she is now. That where she is now is better than where they used to be together. What are we not saying? There are so many evidences there. But like I said earlier, I am not here to do any argument of okay, we are saying you, you do this, I do this, you do that. We we'll just keep talking, he said this, he said that. That is it. A lot of time I've been spent, a lot of things have been lost as as as, as far as the organization is concerned, the money is still running. It is for us to get a solution. Nothing else. Okay. Um Mr. Daniel, the guarantor, do you have anything to say? I have. Please uh, speak up and she's right. Um, she said he said sorry, that he was she was threatening his uh, staff. But I want to say this. Uh, there is no how she can threaten. Is that she said she will suffer them? Okay, if she says she will suffer them, did she not pay? Yes, she paid. Please don't interrupt him when he's talking. Did she not pay? Did she not, was it not active? She was, she was active. 
So there was no need for any harassment. If the solution that you said you wanted now, I personally like that go and meet them for solution. That should have in the first place should that should have been concluded in your office by saying, okay, give him a, 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 a give her a, a, a fair landing. Well, okay, let her do this, let her do this. But you did not do that again. On on it again again. You see that phone, you took away her jewelries, you took away her necklace, you arrest and lock her up till then. Okay, why did she stay till then? Did, why did she have to leave the office? 11 o'clock in the night. When did she leave? I want to ask you here. Yeah. When did she leave the office? Thank you very much. Can I come over? Yes, sir. Um, from the beginning that you said now. Yes, sir. You said she came for a solution. Yes, sir. That no. Yes, sir. You said me ask her, when she arrived at the office, did she move to? The lady she is talking about was the person she met with other staff. Your client or your, your church member that you are defending, Asked her the kind of things that she put in when she gets to the office. Okay. She was practically fighting with everybody there before my arrival. And she came with the noise of stop disturbing my garando. You see, I am not here to tell you this is I'm I'm too I, I've gone beyond that. That's why I said if we keep saying he said this, he said that, you will definitely go be at the side of your person. Now, the person that said that I'm we are not animals. I have more than eight staff there. Now you come for a, 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 a solution and people will just pounce on you. Is it possible? You come for a solution and you were talking to the people that when they ask you, Madam, why do you not pay? Months is already ending. Why are you just coming now after several calls and visitation? When you they will always meet with your or did she not tell you that they always meet with the child? Telling the child that please tell your mom to call off. Yeah. Did she turn off? Um, no, but and you wanted, a, and you wanted a solution. You wanted a solution after several visits. A courtesy visit by your account officer, meeting with your child. Even the neighbors around always come to the shop and say, ah, okay, what will happen? That's one boy did there. What do you want? The person will say, oh, no, nothing. I only want to see the mother. If it is someone that actually wanted to harass, he will have disclosed what is going on to people around them. Now, you talking about that very day, you came to the office in the afternoon, which I didn't even know the exact time. I wasn't to the office. And when I came, I entered my, 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 my own office to relax. After which, I came, I was hearing the voice, exchange of words between her and the cashier and other staff, telling them that whatever what the, the situation she finds herself, each of them will also face it, that they are women. She is a single mother. They will also suffer. They will do this. How do I know she's a single mother if all this is not being said? Then I came out and said, Madam, what is going on? You calm down. Come, come and talk to me. I am the manager now. Because I wasn't the one that attended to her when she, she, she got the money. I am the manager. You come and tell me what is going on. She explained and said, Ah, she has come and they've been calling her garanto and she doesn't want something of such. They should not disturb her. She is the one that collected money. I opened the file and discovered it was two garanto. You're having two garanto. How come they cannot say, okay, okay, even if it is 30,000, let us do this, let us do that? She said, no, they don't have money. Please don't try, they should not disturb them again. Okay, what do you want? This is already mounted. You're having a ring. She says she wants the something to be renegotiated. Said there is no problem. But the one you are supposed to pay have elapsed already. Make provision for that one. Then we will now renegotiate the new one. Mind you, by the time we are renegotiating, we should do it off loan. Carries additional interest. That was when she passed up and said, The one you gave me, said, I never feel paid. You still want to give me another? That's why I'm looking at him as when he was saying they did not provide any solution. Is it possible for somebody to just come and say, Give me a solution? And you just start telling her, No, 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 no. This was what I told her, personally told her. If you want this to be done, pay the one you are, you are owing. In fact, they didn't even say pay. Pay the one you are owing, the total balance. Bring, I think it should be between thirty or 20000 that the person requested for, which I also told her, okay, don't worry. I know what to do. The pressure is so much on you. Get 30000 I am ready to sacrifice so, so, so amount from my salary for you to go. Because when she was explaining, yeah, I am this so, uh, old, it's like they put you in a shop. That was why the shop. I, in fact, I've never even visited the shop before. I only get reports from my account. Uh, that is why this happened. So you are the 
princess that they've been talking about. I don't know you. We've never talked of phone before. She now says she cannot pay you. She doesn't have anything. Okay, please place a call to people that can help you. Guarantor is the first person. She said, no, stop disturbing my guarantor. Call people. She refused. Then she sat down there and started saying, making a key meal. She'll be the same that they keep people. Then the one she's talking about that, she said, I told you the other day. She said she was being locked in the toilet. I right here, I never I had the allegation. That's the very first day. And I said it. Please, somebody should come and investigate in my office. If the uh, uh, customer's restroom has a lock, both in and out, for an adult to be locked. Oh, said, How come they should leave in the office by 11,000? No, don't interrupt him when he's talking. Yes, kill me, sir. Oh, sir. Never... Please, don't interrupt him when he's talking. I told you I've repeated myself more than how many times. Sorry. Sorry. Ah. You were not there. And you were just counting on something that somebody said. She was making call in language that one of the people understand very well, which I also understand. She was speaking in but I see at least I was able to get a little of it. So she was telling the people that she was supposed to call that uh, 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 if they like. Hold on, hold on. Okay, ma. You don't speak, ma. Your name, sir. Please speak louder. Mr. Who is the director among people? I am, I am Gary, Gary, Mr. Daniel. You are the director? Yes. Now, office is not your office. You, you are taking it out of office to confront yourself with this comfortability. I don't have any right to be questioning that person. If you don't go, if you don't go to the reason of that, being in that office. We invited you here because there was a report on what you went to that microfinance to go and sign. Do you get me? Yes. You can't go about shocking somebody, guaranteeing somebody that the person is here to come to my office and questioning the person. How did the person leave your, uh, your place at 8 o'clock? Why did he leave 11 o'clock? That woman that is sitting there that is writing that left and right there, is that a manner that somebody that is going to people out to the character? What are you talking about there? Is that your office? I mean, that okay, she can't do that nothing. For what? They gave her appointment more than how many 
you are wearing clothes for your neck and you are holding people, pay the money you went to the office and started ranting. That money, hey, this and that. And, and they, did they will the issue part of the microfinance uh, 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 director? So what right did she have to go there and you don't have the manner of, of approach you are holding people? Then you go to the company, say so everybody they give money to go back to the office and be making and be constituting new lines. So let the person go. Taking advantage of people tomorrow, they say they are, they, they are taking advantage of poor people. And some of you that call yourself a less privilege, you are more wicked than evil people that you call rich. How much is the money? How much is the balance she's going? How much is the balance? Um, approximately the number, we have 540,000. Aside the default fee. Which I have not even talked about. Are you with your phone? I told you to drop your phone outside. How did you come into that office with that? Go and drop that from where it's supposed to be. You can't check people. People just want to go down and be doing any house. If you see the instruction, I'm supposed to drop the phone there. I, I, decide, I told him to drop the phone outside. You told him to drop the phone outside. I told him to collect the phone and keep doing it. Where is it? Where is it? No, they say there's something on the phone he wants to show. That's why I say, okay, put the phone on. Right, you want to give me the phone when you need it. What is that thing on the phone you want to show? And you can see people, they'll press on and be chatting and be making call and be chatting people up and down. And you allow them, you see, allow them to come into the, into the office with the phone. Madam, you that is showing the test, you should know how much you are holding there. How much is the test you are going to say? Five hundred. I'm talking to that woman. I should not hear anything. I'm asking yeah. you. Yeah. Then you respond. Don't waste my thirty three. I think the money you have five hundred thousand. You think? Because I'm not willing to do. You think your debt? You think? Because I went there for them to minus my savings from there. I don't know. They did not remove it. That is what I'm seeing. That is this why when he said that five four uh, five forty. Now that is why I was. Seeing. The money that remains supposed to be like maybe four something. If you have the intention of paying, how come that you don't know how much you are going? It's your debt, you know, it's not you that is carrying the thought, carrying the load. Then you have the intention of paying, how come that you don't know how much you are going? Because you are not willing to pay, and you and your character is conspiring. That is why you don't know how much you are paying. You should know how much you are paying, how much is your balance. If you default, is it not your character that you need to cut? Is it not your character that you need to arrest? If they are charging you to cut for defaults or whatever, for security, is it, I don't want to leave the link, I don't want to charge those of people cut. I don't hear what this woman is saying. No. 500 and was stuck. How much? My money is supposed to be made for maybe 450 or 420. Because I have like savings of maybe hundred thousand with them. Now office is not where I've told you that nobody should come to that office to come and see it. No one the excess week doing or whatsoever what or feel it. I told you people that that is not that woman right of it is different from any other woman right of it you are you are watching or anywhere. No time for any interest to get. You come to that office you come to report. Ensure your heart is clean because if you go for justice, you must go for everything. You can come to the office you say, What of other people you are collecting money from? What of other places you have collected money from? Why must you be collecting money? If you are doing well, why are you collecting money from different different banks and stuff like that? So, why did this station one place and collect the money? Say them and they receive. What do you collect the money for? You collect money to establish business. So, after that, why don't you collect, collect, uh, go out with what you are trading? You keep collecting money, collecting money, taking loan up and down. How many years will you take this loan? How long will you live with loan? What are you doing with the money? Did they take the phone? Before that, the children broke that day. Have they taken it? Sir, because I was stopped coming from the office, I couldn't bring the phone. I can't hear that man. Oh, sorry, because I wasn't coming from the office when I received the call. The message, so I couldn't bring the office, so I won't delay them. That's the reason why I couldn't bring the phone. 
Has it been repaired? Well, I've said it that everything about the food, so I've given it to an engineer, but our lawyer said that she hold on for us to come and hear the review of uh, what the case is. But about the phone, our phone is going to be fixed. I've said it, I'm but taking that to call myself. Well, I, I can't. Well, 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 Tomorrow or next. I we promise. So sorry about that. So sorry about that. said what she is doing now five hundred and forty thousand naira aside the default fee default fee is not included now. Uh -huh. that's the reason why i didn't put that and our total outstanding now is five hundred and forty thousand Together with the interest, principal and interest. Outside the outside the default fee, I'm outside the default fee. I've not added the default fee now. Okay. Our default fee is one thousand five per day after the date of payment, which uh, I don't think is something that uh, we, we can even start calculating now. It's not, it's not, I would not want uh, somebody to start going to the uh, defaulted for so long, so, so number of days. It's here in the file that um, which they sign that there is a default fee. That there is a default fee of one thousand five on a daily basis if they default. But if we start calculating that now, it's over three months. It's going to be too outrageous. That's why I am excluding the default fee now until okay. after everything is set. The guarantor signed on the 7th, 7th, 2023. That's... What did he sign over? Okay. What did he sign? Yes. Yes, he signed that if the person do not pay, he should, he will come in to pay. He is standing as a guarantor to the loan that he knows the person very well and this person is going to pay our money. That failure to pay, he is coming in fully for the payment. And I think that's the reason why the account officer calls the guarantor. So I don't know why calling him to notify him of the default becomes an harassment. I don't know. Is that the guarantor I'm with you, ma. What did you sign it out? In their office. What I, or to my own understanding, what I sign, that if the guarantor is not available, is unable to pay and is not available, that is where I'm coming, I will come in to pay. He's not available if he, he runs away or anything happens at the end. That is when, that is my own understanding. That is what I pay, I signed, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. What you sign is it now? They brought it, ma'am. They have brought, they, they, they brought the document, I know, I've not checked it. It's a document, yes. Yes, yes, ma'am. Is that that I thought to read exactly what you like? Bring it. Sir, we the undersigned and undertaking that we are se severely liable for the breaching of any of the terms and conditions in respect of this loan agreement. If there is breach in any of the terms and conditions that we are liable, so that is what is there, ma'am. There's no each day 
there is no particular day, there's no particular. They say if is if is 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 not able, is not able to pay our breach of an agreement, our which I've not seen as any breach of agreement here, ma. Because in the same month, yes, ma. Yes. No problem, ma. I'm behaving myself, ma. I'm with you. I'm with you, ma. I can't point it to you, right? I'm with you, ma. No, I can't point it to you, right? I said I'm with you, ma. I'm with you, ma. When I talk to you, you laugh again. No, I used to. I'm a smile person. That is my nature. That's my nature. I'm a smile person. If I smile person, it's only a mad person. I'm smiling when my heart does not require you smiling. If you smile, that means you make you smile. I'm not cracking jokes and I'm talking to you. So you just have to control that thing first. Okay. If you want to smile, if you want to laugh, you can do that if you want to rejoice. Then don't let me feel like if you are making full of foolish of yourself. Yes. I'm not making fool of anybody, ma. Nobody. I am not cracking jokes and I'm not a comedian. So be serious with yourself and be serious with your feet. If somebody slaps you and I don't think you can be laughing. We are not saying we are not paying, ma. Yes. We are not saying we are not. We never Order. say that. Order. If this thing did not happen, that's why I said you should go there. If they did not arouse her, if they are not doing this, we would have paid it off. We would have paid. Ma, we were waiting for you, ma. We are waiting for you to to give us what to give to to meditate on this matter because the matter has been brought to your to your to before you. I we have been here together, ma. Yes. Yes.
I want an end of that matter. That office. Okay, ma. They should tell you when they are bringing the phone, when they are bringing her phone, then you will let me know on time. And you already know the days that may be able to be in the office. Yes, ma. So you said that to inform me two days before. Okay. Then they will be there with the guarantor and her. Then we will conclude it to us for us. Okay, ma. They should not go and take any longer than me. If they call any of the hate of the spouse, this woman, uh, the talent of this woman, where is he living? We are in Lagos or where? In Lagos, ma. Okay. How come that the appointment they have been given to him, that you people did not honor their appointment? We all know it, ma. We all know it, ma. We came, that was a particular day we came, we didn't meet anybody yeah. in the south and south and south, we didn't meet anybody. Another day it came again, we okay. were about coming. Hold what happened? They said they called us that they were no meeting again, are we? Are we? Hold on. Yes, ma'am. You did not meet anybody in the office? No, no, no we came. Office, not in the office. We met uh, um, Auntie Dixon, your, sec your sec secretary. She was, she, we were with her then. The, no, that one I came in. You are not there. Yeah, you are the one who don't, we were not coming. But we okay. were coming. Uh, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma Thank you for joining us, um, the legal departments and the chairman. Until we come your way again for the, uh, the final resolution of the case, you have a wonderful day.